Paul Bader, a prominent figure in the German military during the tumultuous 20th century, was born on July 20, 1883, and left an indelible mark on history through his service in both World War I and World War II. This video explores the remarkable life and career of General der Artillery Paul Bader, shedding light on his early service, World War I experiences, interwar years, and his pivotal role in World War II, particularly during the invasions of Poland and France, as well as his tenure as military commander in Serbia. Early Service and World War I Paul Bader's military journey began in 1903 when he joined the Prussian army at the age of 20. Starting as a volunteer reserve officer, he quickly progressed through the ranks and was commissioned as a lieutenant, lieutenant, in 1906. During World War I, Bader's unit, the 39th Division, saw action in various crucial battles, including the Battle of the Frontiers, the Race to the Sea, the Battle of the Year, the Battle of the Somme, the Second Battle of the Aisne, the Battle of Paskendale, and the German Spring Offensive of 1918. His service in these battles not only showcased his dedication but also honed his military skills. Interwar Years Following World War I, Paul Bader continued his service in the German artillery forces of the Reichswehr during the interwar years. His rise through the ranks continued, reaching the position of Major in 1925. Over the years, he commanded various artillery batteries, displaying his expertise in artillery warfare. As the German military expanded in the 1930s, Bader's career flourished, with promotions to Colonel, Oberst, and Brigadier, General Major. He assumed command of the 2nd Infantry Division in 1937, which was later transformed into the 2nd Motorized Infantry Division. In 1938, Bader was promoted to the rank of General Lieutenant. Major General. World War II, Poland and France. When World War II erupted in 1939, General Paul Bader found himself at the helm of the 2nd Motorized Infantry Division. During the invasion of Poland, his division was part of Heinz Guderian's 19 Corps within the 4th Army of Army Group North. Their mission was to cut the Polish corridor to East Prussia. Following the success in Poland, Bader's division was transferred westward to prepare for the invasion of France. Leading the 2nd Motorized Infantry Division, he played a significant role in the rapid advance through the Ardennes and the outflanking of the Maginot Line in 1940. This operation demonstrated his strategic acumen and leadership on the battlefield. Yugoslavia, military commander in Serbia. In May 1941, Bader's career took a pivotal turn as he was appointed as the commander of the Higher Command 65 in occupied Yugoslavia. This command was essentially a corps headquarters overseeing for garrison divisions stationed in Serbia and the independent state of Croatia. Bader's role became crucial during the suppression of the uprising in Serbia, and he was eventually designated as the plenipotentiary general in Serbia. In February 1942, his title evolved to commanding general and military commander in Serbia, highlighting his role as a key figure in the occupied territories. Later in his career, Bader briefly commanded the 21 Mountain Corps in Albania. However, he was placed on the Führer Reserve list in October 1943 and retired on March 31, 1944, concluding a remarkable 41-year career in the German Army. Death and Legacy Paul Bader's military career was marked by exceptional service and dedication to the German Army. He was awarded numerous decorations and honors during his service, including the Iron Cross, Knight's Cross of the Friedrich Order, and the German Cross in Gold. General Paul Bader passed away on February 28, 1971, in Emendingen, Germany, at the age of 87. His legacy endures as a testament to his unwavering commitment to his country, and his significant contributions to both World War I and World War II. His leadership and strategic prowess continue to be studied and remembered in the annals of military history, serving as an example of valor and dedication in challenging times. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. You can also help to support of my channels at PayPal details in the description box below.